All right, now we get to the heart of Piaget's stages of cognitive development. A warning, though, all theories, no matter what they are in psychology and psychology, should be used to help us to understand behavior. They do not predict behavior. They tell us an idea of the group, but not the individual. That is the power of a theory. That's how theory should be used. First of all, Jean Piaget was a Swiss biologist. He brought the mind of a biologist into understanding children. Now, the old idea at the time was that children's minds were just like adult minds, with less knowledge. Children were seen as the same as adults, their minds functioning the same, just less knowledge and skills. So, of course, education was just pouring more knowledge and skills. Piaget said, uh, 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 he rejected that. He said, brains develop through a series of stages. Our thinking naturally becomes more complex. And this change happens from the inside out. And this is the biologist in him speaking. So the new idea is that the type of thinking that children engage in is qualitatively different than that of an adult. Children think differently qualitatively, not just quantitatively, and that the mind develops through successively higher levels of organization and integration. The quality of one stage is dependent on the tasks and quality on the other. We can provide instruction, but it has to be at the appropriate level. Children will not be ready to learn if they are not ready to develop mentally, if their mind has not progressed to that next stage. And the sixth one, if children are ready, developmentally, cognitively ready to learn, they will be interested in the topic if it is developmentally appropriate. And we're going to talk a whole lot about that. If they are not ready to learn, they are not ready to comprehend. They won't be interested, no matter how many jelly beans you give them. So Piaget's stages of cognitive development, changes in thinking, it's a devo devo developmental process, occurs naturally as our brain develops, and it goes through these four stages, and we'll look at each one specifically. First, sensory motor. Approximately birth to age two, Cognitive development here is enhanced by the ability to move. You are influenced by your senses. You can see different things. An important cognitive milestone at this stage is object permanence. Daddy puts it behind his back, and you know that it still exists, even though it is not in your field of vision. A second major Accomplishment is goal-directed actions. That's the ability to contemplate and carry out more than one action to reach a goal. For example, if a, if a child can't open a cardboard box to get a cookie, he or she would get some sort of tool to help open the box. Goal-directed action. Pre-operational stage, approximately age to two. Operation here means an action carried out through logic, pre-operation before logical thinking. At this stage, vocabulary range from 200 to around 2,000 words. That's a lot of words they are taken in. This stage is marked by irreversible thinking. Child can only think in one direction. 2 plus 1 equals 3, but 1 plus 2, I don't know. These are the characteristics of a cat. A lynx has these characteristics, therefore a lynx is a cat, and they can't reverse that type of thinking. Reversible thinking. Put that in the opposite way. At this stage, children are highly egocentric, meaning that they have trouble taking another point of view. They still see the world only in their terms. This is my daddy. It can't be my grandmother's son or my brother's uncle because it is my daddy. Conservation, a major learning task that occurs near the end of this stage, 
even though the characteristics of an object change, the amount or volume stays the same. Here's two glasses of water. Pour one in a tall, skinny one. The child might say, uh-oh, there's more there because it's bigger. That's conservation. It's a major task to accomplish at this stage. And this is pre-logical. Children are not always able to distinguish fact from fantasy. They use emotions to know the world, primarily through emotions. Which one of these two lines is longer? Well, logically we can see that, but it's pre-logical. Concrete operational stage, approximately age 7 to 11. This is first grade and intermediate. This is the start of logical thinking. All thinking must be based on the very concrete and based in the present. Children need to see things and manipulate things. All science and learning should be as hands-on and as active as possible. When you're working with math, you use manipulatives. They start to develop this if-then thinking. They begin to understand. If X happens, then Y happens. When learning to think logically, the items that you're thinking about must actually be present. Classification, this is a particular type of thinking developed at this stage. At the previous stage, children could put things in groups only according to one attribute, like color. At this stage, children are able to put things in the correct group based on a number of attributes. For example, this is a description of felines, and they could put tigers, panthers, house cats, etc. in that category. Formal operation, approximately age 11 and up. And oop, I forgot reversible thinking. They are able to begin to reverse their thinking. They can think in reverse order. However, they have not developed the ability to think abstractly. That's an important thing. Because in formal operational, age 11 on, the beginning of abstract thought and be able to manipulate thinking to manipulate symbols and generalize to similar situations. B is too little as slow as to blind. They began to develop deductive, inductive, and hypothetical thinking. Uh, children develop the ability to use more advanced deductive thinking. That's Sherlock Holmes type of thinking. Inductive thinking is looking at a field and put organization or groups to it. And hypothetical thinking is the what-if thinking. Now, we can help them at this stage develop their thinking by teaching them thinking skills. A thinking skill is a cognitive process broken down into steps and taught specifically. Thinking skill, this is what they are. Again, these are the stages, Piaget's stages of cognitive development. We go through one with tasks to accomplish at each one. And this has been the end. A brief overview. Stages of Cognitive Development, Piaget.